You can use this architectural design in a picture of a cafe you have to replicate this style into your own creation. I'm DJ, a digital artist using Flora to create cool stuff. Today I'm going to show you how to mimic a specific design or structure using depth and candy models. I'm also going to teach you how to use seed numbers and strength values. First of all, look for a style you want to replicate and copy the image. For this demo, I want to use Frank Gehry's aluminum clad tower. Copy the image and paste it into the empty canvas. Create a text node and extract the details to make a prompt for generating an image. Copy the other image you have. In my case, I have a picture of a modern minimal cafe scene. Now, let's generate some iterations using the style extractor from this image. I'm going to create multiple image nodes coming out from here. I mentioned earlier that I'm going to use canny and depth. For those of you who are not familiar with canny and depth, these are two different types of input images in ControlNet, which is a system that guides image generation and stable diffusion. Canny refers to an edge detection technique that highlights the outlines of an image, while depth map represents the depth inside the scene, creating a grayscale image that shows the foreground close to white and the background close to black. GPT image technically doesn't refer to any of these data, so it is not as good as Canny or depth models when you have a specific goal to achieve. Redux is just a slight variation of the original image. Gemini is good at recognizing a specific part in the scene, but does not use depth and candy data as well. I'll do another demo on Gemini later. Since I want to focus on maintaining consistency in this demo, I'll go with the depth and candy models. Connect the text node to all the image nodes that you have made and run them all together. As you can see, it maintains the original structure of cafe and slightly introduces the reference design we brought, which is very good in terms of consistency. We can generate as much as images we want using the depth and candy models. Now this time, let's play with seed numbers and string values. Usually, the seed number changes every time you click on the image node. In order to stabilize your seed number, just copy and paste it on the image node that you want to replicate. Theoretically, all the images that share the same seed number should be stylistically identical. For example, as you see here, this lamp on the table here is placed on the same position here on the next image, which has the same seed numbers. By this way, you can make a certain boundary of changes and iterations you want to make. You can also control the amount of stylizing with the strength value. The higher number you put, the more the output will resemble the reference image. Let's copy an image in order to make the same seed number and let's make some changes in the strength. Let's put it to 90% whereas this one is 47%. percent 
as you can see here, um, we can compare these three images that has all the same parameter values except the, st the strength value. This one is 47, this one is 90%, this one is 100%. But as you can see here, um, if you put the strength value up to 100, sometimes it can be a little bit glitchy. So it's good to avoid going up to the 100. So that's how you make consistent replications and have control over all your outputs. Thank you for watching and subscribe for more tutorials and tips using Flora.